Welcome to another video review by thepilotreport.com. I'm Len Costa. Today we'll be demonstrating the Windsock iPhone application. Now this application is available on the iPhone. It will work on the iPad, however it's not a universal application, which means it won't utilize the full high definition resolution of the iPad. So for today's demonstration, we'll be showing you how to use this application on the iPhone. I'm going to go ahead and click on the nicely laid out Windsock icon. Now you notice uh, that it comes up with a nice, very, look at this, it's so simple. I mean, you can't get lost here at all. It's got one purpose and one purpose alone. However, I will note the very first thing you, you, you want to do with any application is check the settings. So up in the top right-hand corner, I'm going to click on the uh, square with the arrow button, and I'm going to go over to my settings buttons. I'm going to start out with max settings, and I'm going to go ahead and set in, so for instance, if my aircraft has a max crosswind demonstration of uh, 17 knots and, uh, let's see, zero knots max tailwind, and we've set it to knots versus mile per hour or uh, kilometers per hour. So that our settings, I like this because, again, you can set your max crosswind here. If your aircraft has a tailwind limitation, by all means, go ahead and set it up, minus zero. So we'll go back here. We'd like us to show the traffic pattern, show the arrow degree marks, and then we'll go ahead and click done. So for this example, okay, let's just say that we're departing um, runway 36, all right? Uh, our wind is, I'm going to make this a direct crosswind so that we can see what happens when we've exceeded our crosswind limitation. And let's see here. Let's go to... 90. There we go. And uh, right across. I, oh, yep. There it is. It shows us. I've skipped ahead. It shows us here that the it, um, with our crosswind limitation of 17 knots set up, you'll notice that it shows a right crosswind of 28 knots, but that it's in red. If this was within limitations, for instance, a 13 knot crosswind, you'll see that it's green. So it gives you a visual indication that you've exceeded your crosswind limitation. So that's why I suggest that you set this application up in the beginning so to make sure that it's operating properly. So we've, uh, we've set up runway 36 with a 90 degree wind direction at 13 knots, and we know that this is good. We can go ahead and click on, actually I didn't show you, but if you click on the arrow, the uh, green arrow, what it will do is it will bring up this uh, depiction here of how you should enter the traffic pattern. Based on left traffic to runway 36, you should enter the dog leg at 135 degrees, shows you your downwind heading of 180, your crosswind of 90, and obviously your uh, or your base, your base leg of 90, and then your turn to final for runway 36. If we had set this up for right-hand traffic, let's see if I can... Actually, I can't set it up for right-hand traffic. So there you go. It's based on left-hand traffic altogether. So there it, uh, oh, there it is. I found it. If you want left-hand traffic, you basically split the screen in half. I clicked on the green arrow to get to a left traffic pattern for runway 36. Now if I want to do a right traffic pattern, I'm basically going to click on the number 13, where it says right crosswind 13 knots. Click on the right side of the screen. And now it's brought up my right traffic pattern. Enter on the dog league at 225, downwind 180, base at 270, and your final at 36. This application is awesome. Look at it. It's so simple. It's very easy to use, a very clean layout. It's quick and it's efficient. And it virtually, um, actually, you know, visually confirms whether or not your aircraft is within or outside of crosswind limitations. Because sometimes you don't necessarily... You know, if you've got, this is this was easy in this example, it was a 90 degree crosswind. Say, for instance, it's a quartering tailwind. Okay, so at this point, you've got not only a tailwind, but a right crosswind, both exceeding your limitations. So it's got a nice visual representation. To download this application, just visit thepilotreport.com forward slash windsock. If you've enjoyed this video review, please visit our website, thepilotreport.com, where we have many more iPad, iPhone, and other aviation product reviews and demonstrations. I'm Len Costa, and thanks for tuning in today. I wish you guys clear skies and calm winds. Take care.